Hungry to start your day in a whole new way? Then look no further than Stevie G's. The breakfast dishes that you are gonna get here are nothing like you've ever seen before. We kind of bring everything to a new level. We kind of like to elevate our brunch food. Everything's gonna be twisted up a bit. You're gonna have something that you've probably never had anywhere else. Located in a strip mall in Rockland, Massachusetts, Stevie G's frankly doesn't look all that special from the outside, which makes customers that much more impressed once they step inside. Most people, second they walk in the door, they go, oh my gosh, I was not expecting this. So you're gonna walk in, it's gonna be bright and cheery and colorful. You're gonna look at a modern retro kind of diner vibe. You're gonna see artwork all over the walls from local artists. You're gonna walk in and you're gonna smile. That's Shannon Logan Solo, who along with her husband Andrew and his brother Matt own Stevie G's. The brothers actually grew up in Rockland and got their start in the restaurant business right here. Before it was Stevie G's, it was Butterfield's restaurant, which was here for 45 years. Actually, my brother and I got our first gig in the restaurant industry here back when we were teenagers in high school washing dishes for the same family that we ended up buying it off 45 years later. And since this has always been a family owned place serving families, when they took ownership in 2022, it was only fitting they named it after their family. Stevie G's restaurant is an honor to both my late father and our daughter. My father's name was Steven Garish, and so we named our daughter Stevie Grace. So with the two Stevies and the G for Grace and G for Garish, we came up with Stevie G's. The kitchen at Stevie G's gets inventive with both sweet and savory dishes. But since life is short, we'll start with the sweet, like these raspberry Danish pancakes inspired by a supermarket classic. One of our favorite dishes is an Entenmann's raspberry Danish, and we wanted to turn it into a pancake. So every bite's gonna be like you're eating that good old Entenmann's right out of the box. So we have our buttermilk pancakes, our homemade streusel on that, cream cheese drizzle, a raspberry reduction, and we're gonna garnish it with some whipped cream and raspberries. It's absolutely perfect. Other sweet options include carrot cake French toast, topped with a cream cheese drizzle, caramel sauce, and candied pecans, and a Reese's peanut butter cup waffle loaded with crumbled candy and a peanut butter drizzle. It's honestly a, just a really, really big, huge, delicious Reese's peanut butter cup in a breakfast form. If you happen to be hungry for a cannoli in breakfast form, order up Stevie G's cannoli pancake tacos. So we make our little silver dollar pancakes. They're gonna go into a taco fold. We're gonna pipe our ricotta filling right in, top them with some strawberries, chocolate chips. We even do some cannoli crunchies on top. So you're gonna get a little bit of a crunch, some whipped cream on there. And it's just something that you wouldn't necessarily see at a breakfast place. And here's something else you wouldn't find at a typical breakfast place banana sushi. Becoming a new dad, trying to come up with creative items. I know my daughter always loved bananas and strawberries, so this is kind of something we threw together. We take uh, bananas and slice them, and strawberries slice them, and we shingle them so they look like actual kind of sushi, except the fruit version of it. And we're gonna do a house peanut butter drizzle on that, chocolate chips, and toasted coconut. It's just perfect. The kids love it when it comes out. It just looks so fun, and they just love digging in. <laughs> The inventive eats are all over the savory side of Stevie G's menu as well, with dishes like the house-smoked brisket hash benny, breakfast tachos loaded with queso, bacon, pico, jalapenos, and two sunny side eggs, and the ultra-popular brunch burger. The brunch burger is a fan favorite. We have a smashed burger patty, a sunny egg on top of that with some of our fresh hollandaise sauce. There's gonna be a bacon jam, and we also have truffled arugula on that as well. So you're gonna get that luxurious truffle taste, some creaminess from the hollandaise and the sunny egg, and you're gonna get some savory with that bacon jam. And it's just a nice gooey bite that drips down your face, but you just keep coming back for more. For a dish with a little Polish inspiration, there's a sweet and spicy smoked kielbasa benny. For a little Latin flavor, check out the huevos rocklandos. And if you're in the mood for chicken and waffles with an Asian twist, look no further. We do a far east coast chicken and waffles, which is our spin on a traditional chicken and waffles, but there's nothing traditional about it. We do our house made Belgian crispy golden brown waffles waffle, topped with a buttermilk piece of chicken, a sunny egg, scallions, sesame seeds, and a little of our house sticky Asian sauce. So it's definitely gonna be different than your traditional chicken and waffles. It's got a lot of different Asian flair in there as well. And from the creative dishes coming out of the kitchen to the smiling faces filling the dining room, for this family, Stevie G's is a dream come true. This is everything that we really dreamed. We really wanted to open up our own restaurant and work for ourselves and do our own thing. And we have just been blown away 
today by the support we've received from the community. And I think one of the best things about this is seeing the smiles on people's faces and just hearing everyone say how much they love it here. It's definitely a good vibes place. It says it right on our shirt. Good food, good drinks, good vibes. That's what we want here. People to come in, have a good time. You're gonna be greeted with a smile and leave full and probably pretty happy.